Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be making one of my personal favorite tops that I've ever designed. It can be worn two and even four ways if you choose to use two different fabrics. So today we're using our usual materials. We have swimwear fabric, rotary cutter, loop turner, scissors, a pattern elastic, and an acrylic user. And as usual, the link to the PDF pattern is in the description. The first step is going to be cutting two of the front and four of the back piece. And if you do plan on making it reversible with fabrics, just cut one of the front piece and two of the back piece in each of your fabrics. And notice that when I get to the back piece, I'm making sure to flip the pattern so we can get opposite sides. I'm also going to be cutting straps that measure approximately one and a quarter inch by about 12 inches and I'm going to go back and trim those. And these are what all of your pieces look like. Next, we're going to match up our fronts and backs with right sides together. Make sure all pieces are facing the same direction since they have specific curves that allows the top to be worn two ways. When you sew, you're going to leave a one inch hole in one of the sides. We're also going to be folding our straps in half, right sides together, and so. And if you're familiar with my videos, you know that I like to go back and seam rip a hole in the very last step. But if you do want to skip that step, then do what I did and leave a one inch hole in one of the sides while you're sewing. You're literally just going to skip over it. If you forget, you can always seam rip a hole before you're able to flip it inside or outside. Now that we have these two pieces now, we're going to match them right sides together and we're going to sew on any open edge that there is. And again, that's going to be all the way around. There should not be anything left besides that one inch hole that we left in one of the sides. Now we will slap on some elastic on the bottom edge of our piece as well as along our straps. I'm only sewing just the bottom out of personal preference. Found that it helps the top to sit a little better, but definitely do the top and the bottom if you feel more comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you're gonna flip the straps inside out using a loop turner. And in case you didn't catch it, I always have my materials that I use linked in the description. Mark where you want your straps to come out of for both the front and the back pieces. Then seam ripple hole while you're still inside out. For this top, I make my straps about three and a half inches in from the side seams, but definitely do what you think would work best for your body type. Insert the straps into the hole we made for the front piece and sew over the top to secure them. We're only doing the front to start and then we'll go back and do the back in a second. Take the top back inside out and measure how long you want your straps to be. After trimming them down, insert them into the holes we made. Pin them if you need and then flip the top back inside out through the hole, making sure the straps stay in place and don't twist. Then you'll sew down the back straps. Finally, take the top back inside out and finish the final hole using a straight stitch or hand sew using a blanket stitch if you want to make it seamless. I took the easy way out and I decided to just top stitch that hole together. And here is our final result. This top can be worn as it is now, but you can also flip it around and make a whole new top. I've gotten a lot of good feedback about this top when I sold it on my website. People said it's surprisingly more supportive than you'd think. So hope you guys give it a try. Let me know if you're successful. Let me know if you have any questions. And as usual, if you have any video requests, please feel free to comment them. Hope you guys enjoyed and I cannot wait to continue to make more videos for you. Have a good day.